Bishop Daryl Cummings said his great-grandmother was married to a white man. He says they received death threats on a daily basis, and there were some states they couldn't enter. As generations went by, conditions improved, but Cummings' family still often faced racial injustice. D.K. Wright has a special report honoring black history. Bishop Daryl Cummings recalls how a young police officer treated his grandfather when he pulled him over. You know, called him boy, and I was probably about 10 or 12 at the time, and I was like, you know, hey, how dare you, you know, and my grandfather said, oh, no, no, be all right, Daryl, be all right, I, you know, and I was, and when the event was over, I asked my grandfather, why'd you let him call you boy? You ain't no boy, you could be his, you know, and he said, you know, it, it, it happens. And he says driving while black is no joke, it is still real. African-American parents tell their sons especially, but all their kids, you know, make sure you're extra polite, uh, make sure you got your hands at 10 and 4, that you don't move quickly, that you, uh, yeah, yes sir, no sir. In school, Cummings ran for student council president and won, but the principal called him in and said no one could ever know that because the parents would be upset. Here's what the principal told him. Um, I'm going to I tear up all the ballots and it's going to be my word against your word and nobody's going to believe you and so you won but you lost. You're just the wrong color for right now. Cummings has gone on to become a respected clergyman, leading giveaways of food and school supplies to those in need for a third of a century. He and his family live and work in the Ohio Valley. He says racism still exists. It doesn't happen as frequently. Doesn't happen with every occasion, praise the Lord. But uh, we would be lying to ourselves if we said it doesn't happen at all. When he talks to students, his message is good always triumphs in the end. Shine your light. It takes time, it's a process. If you just go through the process, if you can hang in there, and that, that's why we honor those who've gone before us because they went through the process. And the greater the light, the darkness has to disappear. Honoring Black History, D.K. Wright for 7 News. Bishop Cummings emphasized that the vast majority of police officers are fair and dedicated. He says it's only a very few who see color first before hearing the facts. Goal 58 in Las